PP's chief lobbyist. There, and congressional conservatives like uh, King of Iowa, who is a bigot, describe the program as, an, as right with fraud. Well, they always are finding fraud in the wrong places. So President Obama uh, succeeded, and he provided, as they say, the grease. In November, the GAO concluded that anti-fraud provisions provide a reason assurance of reading out false claims, saying that more than 3,100 suspicious claims had been identical, but as before, it noted late filers need not document uh, claims, leaving the justice to rely upon assertions. Well, a lot of assertions. The Bush Justice Department reversed all efforts to uh, settle the parts of discrimination suit brought by the Hispanics and the female uh, farmers. But later they got uh, victory. Um, Secretary uh, Van Sack, he was a former governor, of course, of Iowa, and I believe he's also a state representative. Native of were, were problematic for the government, no doubt about that. Emmett G. Uh, Sullivan overseed uh, those. And former uh, name uh, Patrick uh, O'Brien, uh, in the women's case, O'Brien uh, contended that White farmers were two or three times as likely as Native Americans to receive the money. There's no doubt about that. This this is not unusual. So nonetheless, they got some. An incredible uh, council based in Montana said an organization with an annual budget of $1 million, perhaps the biggest eligible group. And the remaining $60 million went to plaintiffs uh, led by Washington uh, law firm of Coin and uh, Sellers and Toll uh, in their... Uh, so nonetheless, Alan uh, Weissman, a lawyer for Hispanic uh, farmers, strolled in um, federal district court in Washington on usually upbeat, uh, and Judge Robinson uh, it took divine intention to move the government. So Judge Robinson uh, refused to certify even group as a class. The court of appeals upheld him, and uh, had been denied loans as Hispanics and females. The Justice Department lawyers have had to work around that. Uh, and nonetheless, uh, they came up with the deal, and the deal uh, was finalized. And as one would say, that was the end of that tune. And uh, this very long article here. So far, uh, 1,900 uh, Latinos and 24,000 women have sought compensation. In many states where middlemen have built a college industry, Promising to win uh, payouts for a fee. Well, so it goes. Well, the, re the recent uproar here will probably hurt some of those, but nonetheless, that tends to happen. Uh, on a recent Thursday at the Greater Second Baptist Church in Little Rock, several hundred African Americans listened intensely as Mr. Burris told them they could reap uh, each merely by filing a claim. And so it goes. Well, we'll keep you informed uh, about what uh, goes on here with this. And uh, as we move out of here, a little bit of polling here, not very much. The approval rating of the president is 54% according to Gallup. This is on Thursday. 48% according to Rasmus. And National Journal at 46%. 17% approve of uh, the Congress. And 76% disapprove, wrong way, right way, 29% right way, 60% wrong way, so much there. There's another little poll here, I guess we'll get it in here, uh, well, I guess we can't find it right now, but anyway, it was a poll uh, there, it's, uh, oh, here it is over here, nonetheless, this is 19, uh, 2009, uh, uh, Hillary the Monster Clinton had 68% of the support, followed uh, by Joe, 12% for Joe Biden, and we don't even get into that. In a general election, uh, she would uh, lead uh, right wing Ryan Paul by 11 points, 51 to 41. Can't even believe that. That was taken uh, on Friday. So there really are not any uh, Democratic uh, opponents out there. Uh, Vice President Biden, but they mentioned Patrick Como, forget about those, and uh, perhaps uh, Warren. So we don't have anything there. Nonetheless, this is uh, Boston Red on the 26th day of April 2013. Have a uh, good uh, weekend, uh, everyone. Check us out on the Weekend Wars. We'll be on uh, 
Saturday uh, night, Sunday morning, or Saturday night, we'll call it. And also on Numbers Man here on Blog Talk. We also have episodes over on Spreaker, which are a little bit different from these, but uh, some of them are the same. And next week we'll have uh, an open source report and uh, our special May Day uh, programming. Good day. And instead of changing who you are, this tragedy has simply revealed who you've always been. It's the courage of Deborah Sula, who works as a cashier just around the corner from the fire station. She said, it's going to be tough for the families, but we're going to rebound because we're fighters. And that courage will bring West back. It's the love of Carla Ruiz, who used to live in West, but now lives in Austin. And last week she drove all the way back. I had to be here, she said. You have to be here for family. That love will keep West going. It's the faith of someone like Pastor John Crowder that will sustain the good people of West for as long as it takes. His, his church was damaged in the explosion. So on Sunday, the congregation assembled outside. What happened Wednesday was awful, he told them. But God is bigger than all of this. God is bigger than all of this. And he's here with you and when. He is bigger than all of this, and he is here with you. Going forward, it's not just your town that needs your courage and your love and your faith. America does, too. We need towns where if you don't know what your kids are up to, then chances are your neighbors do, too, and they'll tell on those kids in a second. America needs towns that holds fundraisers to help folks pay the medical bill and then take the time to drop off a home-cooked meal because they know a family's under stress. America needs communities where there's always somebody to call if your car gets stuck or your house gets flooded. We need people who so love their neighbors as themselves that they're willing to lay down their lives for them. America needs towns like West. That's what makes this country great. It's towns like West, for you, O oh God, have tested. You have tried. We went through fire and through water, yet you have brought us out to a place of abundance. You have been tested, West. You have been tried. You have gone through fire. But you are and always will be surrounded by an abundance of love. You saw it in the voices on those videos. You see it in the firefighters and first responders who are here. All across America, all across America, people are praying for you and thinking of you. And when they see the faces of those families, they understand that these are not strangers. These are neighbors. And that's why we know that we will get through this. God bless Wes. May God grant his peace on those that we've lost, his comfort on their family. May he continue to bless this great state of Texas. And may he continue to bless these United States of America.